audience how are you all hopefully you are having a good time so today i have decided to make a lecture on work energy theorem now this lecture is for grade 10 icse students and grade 11 students too but uh, those students who are in grade 9 and if they know the concepts of kinetic energy and work done they can also view this lecture and if you understand this lecture very well you will be able to apply this concept into the numericals right guys okay so if you do not know what is the meaning of the work energy theorem here it is in front of you now guys our main purpose is to prove this work energy theorem for that i am going to consider a situation so the situation is as follows here we have a car and this car is moving on frictionless track so we are considering that there is no track no friction in the track and this was already moving with velocity u in this particular direction mass of the car is a suppose at time is equal to 0 we have started to exert force in the same direction of that of the velocity so as a result of this force since this is the only one force acting in the horizontal direction of course there is a weight which is there in the vertical direction we have not considered friction so due to the effect of this force this car is going to accelerate in this direction and its velocity will keep on increasing increasing and increasing we are going to exert the force till time t <clears throat> it is not a one time force guys you are constantly supposed to exert the force from behind so what is going to happen is the car is going to accelerate its velocity will increase when the car reaches over here <clears throat> its velocity becomes v and v is greater than u no change in the mass mass remains constant the displacement traveled by the car from here to here is let's call s let me call the kinetic energy over here as ki and the kinetic energy over here as kf and the value of kf will be equal to half mv square and the value of ki will be equal to half m u square right guys now since v were exerting force from behind we did some work and the work done by us was equal to force exerted multiplied by the displacement of the body and if you if you even want to apply cos theta the cos of 0 degree would be coming coming over here because the direction of force and displacement are same so we need not to write that also over here now since this is the only one force acting in the horizontal direction vertical forces have no effect on the horizontal motion so weight is not to be considered over here now since there is only one force acting on the car so that becomes the resultant force guys and we know that as per newton second law the resultant force f is equal to ma where m is the mass of the body on which the force is being exerted so this force is equal to mass of the body that is car times the acceleration being generated times the s right guys now i'm going to i'm going to apply the laws of motion over here s is equal to ut plus half at square then uh, v square minus u square is equal to 2 as and a is equal to v minus u by t now now these three equations of motion can only be applied if the acceleration is constant for that the force has to be constant this force which we are applying is a constant force it's not a variable force so the acceleration produced would again be constant because f is equal to m times a this is constant this is constant so acceleration is constant so we can apply this equation v square minus u square is equal to 2 as where v is the final velocity u is the initial velocity s is the displacement from here to here so if i make s the subject so v square minus u square upon 2a is the displacement which i am going to substitute it over here so work done which was equal to m 
times a times s now it is equal to m times a times the value of s is equal to v square minus u square upon twice of a a, a getting cancelled if you open up the bracket you get this as half m v square minus half m u square this is equal to final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy this itself is called the work energy theorem guys so what does it essentially means is the increase in the kinetic energy of the body is the result of the work done an increase in the kinetic energy is exactly equal to the work done by us in this situation we are we have not considered any kind of friction frictional forces over here that's why this is valid over here guys right now this works the other way around also suppose if you if this car is coming in this direction and if you exert the force in that direction then the car is going to accelerate in that direction or deaccelerate in that direction in this direction and the velocity of the car will keep on decreasing decreasing and finally it stops suppose the initial velocity was 50 joules and the final velocity was suppose the initial velocity was something due to which the kinetic energy was 50 joules guys sorry so if the initial kinetic energy was 50 joules and after stopping if the final kinetic energy is zero that means we also performed the work done of 50 joules in this direction which enabled the car to stop finally. So if you want to stop a bullet which is coming towards you with 1000 joules of energy then you should do the work of 1000 joules in the opposite direction to the direction of velocity and the bullet shall stop guys. So hopefully I have made my point over here. If you have any doubts please do comment in the comment section and thank you very much for watching the video.